Now look what will happen when He comes. The heavens will pass away with a roar. And the elements will be destroyed with intense heat. And the earth and its works will be burned up. The greatest mountains of this earth will be disintegrated into nothing on the day the Lord returns. And He will come like a thief. He will come when no one expects Him to come. In other places we are told He will come when men are saying, Peace, peace. He will come when the scoffings of men against Him are at its height. And when He comes, everything will change. The value of everything will change. Several years ago, some thieves broke into a very expensive, exclusive store. But they did it in order to play a practical joke. It was night. It was night time. They broke in and they changed the price tags on everything. On everything! So the next morning the store opened up. No one knew what happened. And a person came to the checkout lady with a beautiful vase that the night before was worth $10,000. But now it was $1.25. <laughs> And then another person came with a little, little cheap watch that the night before was worth about $15. But now it was $1,250. You can imagine what kind of chaos was in that store. Jesus is coming back like a thief in the night. And the moment He does, the value of everything will change. All the things that men consider to be extremely valuable, the the next morning will be worth nothing. Your wealth will be worth nothing. Your beautiful clothes will be worth nothing. Your expensive house will be worth nothing. Your worldly fame will be worth nothing. And all your great works will be worth nothing. At this very moment, in the West, the gospel of Jesus Christ is worth nothing. We have a street preacher here tonight from England. He stands up in the middle of the city and cries out, Jesus saves. And all the people can think of is, why doesn't that man get a job that would really help society? Why is he screaming out this worthless message? Godliness in, all, in our culture is worth nothing. Purity is worth nothing. Dedication, devotion to the things of God is worth nothing. Service in the name of Jesus Christ is worth nothing. If, if one of you goes to his parents and says, God has called me to be a missionary to Indonesia, many of your parents would say, how could you throw your life away for that? But the morning after the return of Jesus Christ, the fact that you gave a cup of cold water to a disciple in the name of Christ, it will be worth a thousand worlds and all the riches contained therein. How then shall we live?